when I first started, I can only pay ten to twelve dollars because you know I got the like franchise getting something. And that's cool. I didn't mind because I was doing the work. I was working on my own. But uh, as I got, um, you know, after the pandemic come, ten to twelve dollars for cleaning, that people are like what? You know, so now you got to go fifteen to twenty. You know, so when you could go out and, and get your own accounts, you know, you could you could pay the people that's working with you. Like I say, working we're not working for me, working with you. Uh, you could pay them more money. Headed to the top, ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property, bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no more fashion show. A lot of people say they don't have partnerships, but I think it's good to have a strategic partner if you know that you have something going on that you might want to get in some of bigger accounts or bigger things. So I got someone that had nothing on their record to come in as a partner with me. And, uh, but I never needed her. Like, I, I'm not, not in that capacity. I never needed her. I've had uh, 17, 18 banks at a time. I've had big bills and, um, and never, never, that never came up. Like, nothing. Now, I know you was in prison for a little while, right? Mm -hmm. When you came home, I know technology was probably different, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So with that being considered, one of the things that I tell people, right, because I get some people that, that's fresh out of prison coming to me trying to get, you know, in Clean Business Network, get a started kid and all of that. And I ain't going to lie. That's the one time where I make an exception. I'll be like, maybe you should start with a franchise just because, you know, you probably don't even have an email yet. You might not even know what an email yeah. is. Some, some people, you know what I mean? Not everybody, but some people are just that raw. And so... Would you say that the franchise route would be better for somebody like that in that position, or do you think that with the right guidance they still could go independent? How you feel about that? Man, I think it just depends on the person. Like it, it, every every situation is different. Uh, I always say both. Like I like to say it's not either or it's both because uh, you can do both and still succeed. I mean, it, it's but independent is always better though. I'm, I'm just 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 it depends on the long term where you want to go. If you want to go to you know. Uh, way up here, then I think independent is definitely the route. But if you want to go to a certain level and then you want to do something else, then maybe franchise is the route. Because a lot of times, even with people with jobs, you know, some people with jobs, they don't feel like, because um, I get that question too, independent or franchise. And uh, people with jobs that, that, that stuck at their job, or I don't want to say stuck, but working the job, <laughs> and uh, they want to grow a business, sometimes they don't have time to learn the marketing and the infrastructure of a business. So there, they can go in and put a little bit of, and get some experience over there. That way they can build up certain accounts and then they can leave off. But I would definitely uh, always say, make sure you tell them that you already have accounts already going in so they already know you're trying to get accounts or, or whatever else. Because I, I always, I don't want to be uh, tied into having one person just uh, telling me how much money I can make. It's just something about you putting a cap. I don't need nobody bird feeding me, is what you say. You know what I'm saying? It's just something I, I can't see. And even though as you look in life, it's always like that. Somebody is always going to be passing down something to you. Like it's always, it's, it's just a light, it's a uh, cycle of life. So, but you just still want to make sure you can give more to the person that you pass it down to, too. So that's another thing that, that, that hindered me from. Uh, that made me want to go on my own is because um, when I first started, I could only pay ten to twelve dollars because you know I got the like franchise getting something. And that's cool. I didn't mind because I was doing the work. I was working on my own. But uh, as I got, um, you know, after the pandemic come, ten to twelve dollars for cleaning, that people are like what? You know. So now you got to go fifteen to twenty. You know. So when you could go out and, and get your own accounts, you know, you could. You could pay the people that's working with you. Like I say, working, we're not working for me, working with you. Uh, you could pay them more money. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's that's just. Okay. Now, what has been your way for getting contracts? And I want to I want to talk about that because, again, I got a franchise background too in the beginning, but the franchise cripples you because they won't show you how to get contracts. Most of them, I don't know what your experience was, but they won't show you how to bid. They won't show you how to find the customers. Any of that whole sales process. So, how did you? learn that and like how did you get your first customer yeah they don't show you that you don't know <laughs> none of that you don't know none of that and so i got my first customer through word of mouth like my one of my first customers came from just people knowing i'm cleaning like you go out there and you let people know you're cleaning and then you clean well and then they'll tell somebody else they say word of mouth is the number one uh, marketing tool because most time when you get a good referral you're already there now i have others uh strategies that i use now for marketing now but uh word of mouth was how i got my first one now, 
again, you said your, your technology skills was a little limited at first, but I see you now, you all on the iPad, you got the calculated clean app on there, you doing your thing, right? So what did you do to basically get caught up with the technology and get caught up with the business terms and all of that? Like what, what are some habits that you built in order to learn these things? I like to say uh, it's mentality and money, right? So you see me with the iPad and then, when I was away, uh, I had a folder. We had classes. I used to keep a folder with me all the time. And uh, I wanted to train my mind to have technology. I wanted to be the guy that I wanted to be. The guy, I'm seeing, the guy, that, I'm sitting up, the guy that you're seeing sitting up here now is the guy that I wanted to be five years ago. But I didn't even know that I was going to be sitting right here to doing this or talking to y'all to say that at all. But uh, I had a folder that I used to carry around with me all the time, man. And I used to tell them this is my laptop. I used to walk with it everywhere. And I had, I had me some books because I like to study. And so that was my internet. I had my folder, my book, and a pen. And I'm on, that's my internet and my laptop. And everywhere I went, I, I sat down on the yard. I'm out there, I'm studying or whatever. I go in the library, I'm studying. I'm on my internet and my laptop. So now I got my laptop in my, in my room. And my, I got the MacBook, the, the, the iPad, the, the phones. I mean, I got it all now. But I, I train my mind to wanting to have those things. I, I acted as if I was today, last five years ago. So wait a minute, you mean to tell me the, the ex-drug dealer, the felon, out here studying, reading books. Yeah. That's what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, that's I, what it takes. Uh, huh? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it was. I, I was grateful that I had time to sit around to, to actually know who I was. Yeah. And then I mean, get the time to see who I was and who I wasn't. So as I sat down, I, I mean, before I could buy the book, I wrote the books. Like, mm -hmm. I used to borrow the book from one of my guys. He was a he was guy, he was doing some more time. And he had a bunch of uh, real estate books. And he had some, and, and I was, I'm looking into real estate. We ain't gonna get into that today. Yeah, but, that, but, 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 I, I, I didn't have the money to buy the books at the time because I was doing my uh, two for one or whatever, whatever. Oh, I didn't want to purchase the books because it, 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 he had them. I just sat up and I wrote them word for word. I sat up, I put my little headphones on, and what else I'm gonna do? I just wrote the books and I ingrained it in my brain. And so then I, I, I realized then that you just like a computer. You, you program what you want to be. So it's like what you're listening to and what you, what you're watching and what you're talking about. The people that you're around, you allow them to program you. And so if you allow the wrong programming, then you end up in the wrong direction later on in life. So. That's, that's just my thing. Thank you for watching my video. And make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video, because I know you did. And also hit subscribe. And right beside that subscribe button is going to be a notification bell. You got to click that, because guess what? You never know when I'm going to go live. As a matter of fact, I might go live right now. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my videos, all right? And if you want to start or grow your business, Check out cleanbiznetwork.com, all right? We have cleaning business starter kits. We have a lead generation service to help you grow your cleaning business, all type of stuff. And also, don't forget to download the Calculated Clean mobile app as well, all right? So that's what I got for y'all until you click another video and go watch, man. Watch another video. Why not? Binge on it. Let's go.